now your storm tracker team forecast with Kevin Smith. Hey, good Wednesday morning, everyone. We're starting out very chilly. Those uh, below average temperatures are continuing live view of our sky cam. You will notice the absence of any kind of cloud cover. And that's really causing something that's at least uh, producing those very cold temperatures. We call this radiational cooling. Now, it's the loss of heat from the surface and the adjacent air from the surface occurring mainly at night. And that's why when the heat just evaporates into the sky because we're dealing with no cloud cover across the entire area. And that produces what we call right now a freeze warning in effect until 9 a.m. because our readings are hovering at or below the freezing mark. Think about those four P's this morning. We know the story there with 28 Opelousas, 30 at the airport, 30 into new roads, and even 30 right along Interstate 55. And here we go with the water vapor satellite imagery, noticing all of the dry air across the majority of the southeast because of the H, that's high pressure. And then you get to low pressure. That's when we have the bad weather that's currently across the western U.S., producing rain and snow in the higher elevations. This storm system will eventually move our way, bringing us a Pacific front that would drop our temperatures just a tad. And also precipitation with the storm system. Onshore flow will start to kick in on Friday as our winds return more toward the southeast and south. And you see eight hundredths of some rainfall. And then the rainfall really ticks up on Saturday into Sunday morning. You see about an inch to two inches of rainfall will be possible. Plaquemine, we're at 58 degrees, 57 into Walker, Livonia at 57. Those overnight lows a tad warmer into the mid to upper 30s. And that's seven day forecast. By the way, on Friday, I'm going to at least hold the rain chance. It's not uh, popping up here, but at 10 to 20 percent. 50% on Saturday. There's your blue line with our quote cold front. And you see we go from 79 to 77 to 72, but those overnight lows will drop into the mid 70s. We have, of course, the Skeeter meter brought to us by Sal Vent. And as we move toward at least your Thursday and Friday, holding into high levels. We know the story there. Weather on the radio brought to us by the radio stations on your screen iHeartRadio, Baton Rouge.